Welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how to get the Fusion Asset Register, the standard report in Excel Pivot Summary like this and that also without any custom development. So first, let's see how the standard report looks like and then how we can convert that particular output in this summarized information. So this is one sample of the Asset Register report. You can see that the details of the header related information are available here and the cost is available at the bottom. Now the drawback of this format is it displays single asset in single sheet. So if you have thousand assets, it will show thousand sheets in a one particular Excel file when you download in Excel. And this is again not in a table of output, so I cannot do any summarization or comparison the way I want. So this is a major drawback. So now let's see. How to get the standard report in XML? So you need to do these steps like you need to go to monitor process form and schedule a new process. Sub enter the name asset register, enter the parameter book, currency period, the mandatory one, and other as per your need. Once the report is completed normal, you need to download this XML data by clicking this button. It will give you the message like you want to open or save. So save this file on your computer system. So this step is very important because you need to give the reference of the path where you have saved this file. Download the Excel file from the path given in the YouTube. So this and enter the path where you have saved your XML file. So I have entered my XML file path in this particular cell B5. And then you can see here that's a parameter. This is blank header information that is blank. The cost details are blank and even the summarized information that is blank. So as of now, I have not imported the data from XML to this Excel file. So to import that data, what I need is go to this refresh and click on refresh all. So you can see here a background query is running. And it has populated the parameters which I have entered for the month of October 20 and it will populate the header details. And it will populate the cost related details. So all these fields now are in tabular format. So I can go, you can see up to BW that many columns are available in XML. Now if you go and see in the summary, there is nothing still yet been populated. The reason it is a pivot table and once the data is been generated here, you need to refresh again. So I need to click and say refresh. So now the data is available. We can see here as of now, this has been sorted as per the netbook value. If I want to change the sorting in any other format like like by cost descending. So the higher the cost, it will show the first. So that is, you can do here the sorting the way you want. So changing back to netbook value. The so second here, you can see there are certain slicers are also add. I want to see only the asset type that are capitalized. So it will change only expensed for both. So I can select this multi select and both are available. Only the life in month, which are five months or 10 months. So this will get automatically changed. And if I want to see all clear, all the filters are available. And as it is a pivot table, you can also make some adjustments like why to see the life from top. I want life in here. And so you can see there are so many fields available here the life in month either you select from here or type here life in month and enter into the row so now we can see there are certain assets under this category which has life one four and five months so different different are available so moving back and now let's see what else we can do with the pivot tables is like calculation like this netbook value is what percent of the cost so i can go to pivot table analysis fields calculate field and right here percent divided by cost click ok so now it is available i can convert this 
and percentage so here it is as of now you can see there's a null value is showing the reason is i did a setup which says that if there are errors it should show blank if i remove this so it will show the error reason because there is a zero value in anything divided by zero it, a system will not be able to calculate Sorry. so this error has been shown so yes i will need this setup okay so this is the various analysis you can do in your excel sheet let's summarize this step first you need to download the report take the output and save the report on your system then download the excel file from this youtube video link and thereafter put that path onto the excel file downloaded and then refresh the data once to get the data loaded in the detail table and then refresh again to get the data in the pivot table if you have any questions or suggestions please write down in the comment section thanks for watching this video